Hope he doesn't seem to mind his new harness at all. He's still sleeping. Well, maybe not. But he didn't cry or try and come over here. I thought he was going to be squirming and crying to try and get over in my lap like he usually does. So, Koopy, you guys say thank you, Steven, for keeping you safe. So, this will be so much better and more safe for you. And everything to make a nice healthy dinner. Spinach and salad, tomatoes, cheese, chicken for Steven, croutons, and honey mustard dressing. Oops, I got honey Dijon. Requested by Steven. Hopefully he likes that kind. Some sweet tea. I'll make my salad. And then for dessert, I got, I'm going to make yogurt parfait. So I got some yogurt, raspberries, and granola. Now I just have to wait for my date to show up. So me and Koopy will just hang out until then. What? What? Why are you pushing my face away? Okay. I needed to try this granola roll. I'm waiting because I'm starving. Does Koopy want to try? Hmm, that's good. Koopy want to try? It's yummy, Koop. You don't like it? Koopy, try. Koopy goes to his bowl, gets the food, drops the food. And then eats it. He's like a little chipmunk. Right, Koopy? Get the food. Pack about six or seven in his cheeks. Goes to the rug. Drops it out. And goes back. And this is how we eat. And I've tried putting the food on the rug. But he still drags the food. Let me get the point. We found this basket right here at the flea market, and I figured it would be perfect to put on my bike handlebars um, for Cooper to ride in because that would be awesome. I'm gonna try and see if it fits. Um, doesn't look like there's room for it though. I don't know where to put it. Wouldn't that be cool? Koopy put a little blanket or a towel or something in there and then Koopy can just ride on my bike rides with me. That'd be awesome. Oh, maybe Koopy will like it. Let us see. salad pretty good <laughs> dessert not as good as ice cream but it was good it's good nice and healthy satisfied now steven has to leave as usual and <laughs> <laughs> Like, I have no idea. Like, I have no idea. Like, I have no idea. She know all this. No, Ashley said you called the doctor. Breaking news live from The Bachelor in the Long Leaf. Chris Souls just picked Whitney to be his wife. And he. 
What's so funny? And he left Becca. He left Becca to go home in the limo by herself. The first bachelorette who was sent home who didn't shed a tear. This is the craziest bachelor ceremony ever. And this is all live from Bachelor Nation. Have a good night. Peace out. Oh, now you're going to be like timing out. I'm going to be like timing out. I don't believe it. I don't think you're right. The question is, would things have been different if Becca said she loved you? And this idiot says, I don't know. I can't believe he's not an idiot either. He's not an idiot. He is an idiot. For saying that. That, for, yeah, that, would, that, that That's why he's single. That's why they broke up now. Because they are broken up now. We heard the gossip. He's a great thing. So that statement right there caused the breakup. I don't know, but if that were me and I was in the bathroom and my, um, what is it called? Fiance. 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 Said he didn't know. <laughs> if it would change. I would be fuming. Fuming. <laughs> Peace out, Mama. Peace. Bye, Munch.